I'm glad none of you were yanked off your plane. Have you seen that video of the guy getting dragged off the United flight? This happened yesterday in Chicago. I've been to uh, 100, like, games and stadiums with 50,000 seats. They never sell the same seat two times to one person. But for some reason, airlines cannot figure this out. That's how my mother used to get me out of bed to go to school every morning. <laughs> But this poor guy, they roofed him up. It's just like we reaccommodated El Chapo out of Mexico. <laughs> that is. That makes me. That is such sanitized, say nothing, take no responsibility, corporate BS speak. I, I don't know how the guy who sent that tweet didn't vomit when he typed it out, but <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, when. When you break this down, a man was forcibly dragged off a flight because they oversold it, which how that happens in the first place, I don't know. And by the way, they almost certainly could have gotten volunteers by offering more money or travel vouchers. Maybe 800 bucks wouldn't do them, but they could have gone up to 1,000 or 5,000 or 100,000. Who cares? <laughs> it's not the passenger's fault if you sold too many seats on your plane. Next time we book a flight, it doesn't matter if it's United or Delta or American. If one of those flights is a dollar less than the other one, <laughs> That's the one we'll pick. They know this. That's why we're stuck with them. Our only other choice is the bus. So United, <laughs> United didn't even admit they did anything wrong. And in fact, if anything, they seem to be doubling down on this. We're United Airlines. You do what we say, when we say, and there won't be a problem. Capiche? If we say you fly, you fly. If not, tough <laughs> Give us a problem, and we'll drag your ass off the plane. And if you resist, we'll beat you so badly, you'll be using your own face as a flotation device. United Airlines, you.